Hello everyone, this is Mr. West and you're watching West Explains Best. Now we're gonna take on Shaq's Gas Math. Now if you haven't seen the video already, there's two separate videos on TNT where they talk about using uh, mathematics to figure out a better way to fill up your tank each week or as you drive. Shaquille O'Neal has a certain argument, Ernie and Kenny have another argument, and I'm gonna go ahead and break it down in the latest example, which is driving from Atlanta to Orlando. Now, we have here some of the breakdowns of how far that distance is. That's really not the point. Gas mileage, uh, miles per gallon, all that, the type of car is really not in the factor here for this particular problem based on how they argued it. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this problem in regard to how they're arguing, how Shaq is arguing, how to fill up your tank. Okay, so let's let's talk about some underlying assumptions. Number one, Valdosta is the halfway point. So if we're looking here, here's Orlando, at, uh, sorry, at the bottom, and then at the top we have Atlanta, and you can see Valdosta is about halfway. Second thing, traveling to Valdosta takes half a tank from either end point. So if it's indeed the halfway point, then it's gonna take half a tank to get there. Uh, both Ernie, uh, and Kenny and also Shaq were basically saying the same thing that it takes about a half a gallon, a half a tank to get from either Atlanta or Orlando to Valdosta. And then we're gonna assume that gas prices are equal everywhere. Okay, now what is uh, the argument from Ernie and Kenny? They're arguing that traveling one way costs slightly less than $80, okay? The preference is for less stops and the preference is for having some gas left over once you arrive back home in Atlanta at the end of the round trip. <laughs> the main thing here is no matter what, the trip will cost about $160. There's no way to get around it, okay? Now let's break that, that down in terms of their argument first. So here we have uh, Shaq, you know, he sponsored Buick once upon a time. Don't, not sure if he still does. But you go from Atlanta to Valdosta, that's halfway, and you spent about $40. So if you filled up the tank at first, Okay, and that they're, both of them were arguing that. Both parties were arguing that you start off with $80, so you get to halfway, you uh, have spent half your gas, and then you get to Orlando, and you're basically on Emmy, empty. So Ernie and Kenny are both saying they'll get to empty, and at that point, you need to spend another $80, and this will take you back to full. So you went to empty, okay? To Valdosta, took about half a tank. To Orlando, empty. Now they filled it back up, back to full after the $80, and now they can drive the full distance back from Orlando all the way to Atlanta, at which point they're getting close to about empty again, somewhere in there, you know, normal, uh, close to empty that most people will go and fill up their, their gas tank. Okay, so that's their argument. There's no way to get around that you have to spend about $160 on the whole trip. Okay, so that's Ernie and Kenny. <laughs> now let's talk about Shaq. Okay, Shaq. Again, he says, let me erase this. So he says we have about $80 to fill up. So you have to fill up, oh sorry, let me break down the argument first before I get into the, the details. So he wants to avoid the $80 fill up as much as possible. He's not for filling up your gas tank from empty to full. He likes doing it, not letting it pa get past halfway. Okay, and I've heard also, this is a separate argument that your car operates better when it has more than half a tank. But that's besides the point. His goal, avoid the $80 fill up as much as possible. Only put in what you need, only the round trip is taken into account. So he's only talking about the trip. He doesn't care having gas left over to go to the grocery store as Kenny alluded to. He just cares about the trip. How can I save money on this trip? He also has preference for stopping, and you know he's a big guy. He needs to probably get out and stretch, get some snacks maybe. I mean, most people like getting snacks, um, but he has a preference for stopping because Kenny was arguing, uh, don't make you know you're making a needless stop, and Shaq says he wanted to stop, and I don't have any fault with that particular argument. And then <laughs> number five, this is where it breaks down. He says you save money by only putting in twenty and forty. Okay, now let's break this down. You start off in Atlanta. Okay, and Shaq says you go from Atlanta and then you go to Valdosta, so you've spent uh, half your gas. You're about half a tank, okay? So if you're at half a tank, that means you gotta put some gas in, at, according to Shaq says, but he says he's only gonna put in $20. Well, $20 is only a quarter of a tank. So if you put in $20 in Valdosta, you're gonna take it back up to three quarters of a tank, 
Now we're driving from Valdosta to Orlando, and we know that takes up half a tank, half the distance. So a half, uh, three quarters minus a half, well, we know that, whoops, messed my arrow up. We know that will three quarters minus a half will take us to one quarter. So we're at one quarter of a tank. Okay, now at this point, Shaq says, put in another $40. Well, $40 is half a tank. So we're gonna go back up to three quarters of a tank. <laughs> Okay, so we're at three quarters of a tank in Orlando. We filled up in Orlando, and now we're going to drive the whole way back. That's what It seemed like that's what he said. He's going to drive the whole way back up to Atlanta. Now, here's where the argument breaks down a little bit. Oh, I forgot to add this 40. So add this 40, and this equals 140. Now, we know, anybody knows, that 140 is less than 160. Ernie and John, uh, Ernie and, and uh, Ernie Johnson and Kenny were arguing it's going to cost about 160. Shaq is saying it's going to cost about 140. So 140 is less than 160. But here's the problem: if the whole trip costs uh, takes a full gallon to get from Orlando, or not a full gallon, a full tank to get from Orlando to Atlanta, then you're going to be short if you only have three quarters of a tank left. You're going to be really riding on E by the time you get there. You might be on fumes. So if you don't mind being on fumes and really pushing it, having that gas tank light come on by the time you get to Atlanta, then you're going to have a problem, okay? If it takes an entire tank to get from Orlando to Atlanta, you're going to be short. You might have, you might be running out of gas by the time you get to uh, back to Atlanta. Now, I think Shaq was saying it doesn't take a full tank. I'm guessing he says it takes somewhere around three quarter of a tank. And any uh, Ernie and Kenny are just being overly cautious by spending $160. Now their point is, even if you get back to Atlanta and you're and you only spent you know the 140, you're gonna have you're gonna be on empty and you're gonna have to fill up eventually to go about your normal day to day business. I'm not sure Shaq directly uh, addressed that issue, so uh, I think that's the main argument there. So take it for what you will. Also be sure to check out my videos for any high school math help. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you next time on West Explains Best. Thanks for watching.